How to change or assign the phase number of elements that have an incorrect phase number already assigned to them. So here's the dilemma. You've created a structure using the phases and notice that some elements of the structure don't reflect the phase. In fact, the piece marks are displaying the wrong phase number even in the model browser and the drawings they were created on. Well, what do you do? Certainly, you're not going to renumber the entire structure. Advanced Steel allows you to remove the numbering and information from the problematic elements using the toggle switch display single parts and main parts. These tools are located on the Output tab Part Marks panel. So you can remove the markings from the single part or the main part of the selected piece or the entire structure. You want to toggle between the first icon and the last icon. That's just to complete uh, removing the marks. The middle icon is called Ungroup Identical Parts. This tool extracts parts from a group, meaning parts with the same mark are managed internally as a group. So if the mark of a part is changed, then all the other parts within that group change. So to avoid this, use the ungroup identical parts icon. Pre-select the elements you want to remove the part marks from. You can verify at each stage. Remember, select the parts first, delete the part mark, and there we can see the part mark has been deleted. The next thing we want to do is we want to start uh, the numbering without changing the numbering process. However, we're going to change the assembly start to three, process single parts to three, and lastly, the process preliminary mark to three. Select OK to start the numbering. Go to your document manager and perform any required updates. Let's find the problematic drawing. Here we go. The piece mark of the element now reflects the phase number.